Okay, hey guys, Kim here, live at Anderson Pens. Uh, a very exciting day because we have um, John Lane from Pilot Pen USA here, and he brought in some really gorgeous pens. And so him and Brian are going to kind of walk us through a couple of the extra, extra gorgeous ones. Uh, just so you know, we have it in landscape mode. I know it's kind of annoying because then you have to do a little neck yoga to read the comments, um, but we're gonna be posting this on YouTube afterwards. So it's just a lot easier for everyone to view it there. But if you have any questions for John or Brian or Lisa, the whole gang's here, just uh, let us know. Uh, and since the store is open right now, if anyone, any customers happen to come in, we might have to shut down the live video for a couple of minutes and then we'll jump back on uh, once everyone's done in the store. All right, so we're gonna pass it off to John and Brian. Hello. I won't what? say much because it's really cold here in Appleton. <laughs> Welcome to Wisconsin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> uh, we have quite an array of uh, Namiki product here, mm -hmm. um, and I think we should just dive right into it. This is maybe my favorite. I, and it was so nice of you to bring us a Christmas present. It's my pleasure, Brian. It's absolutely my pleasure. <laughs> um, this is the Emperor, the Owl, mm -hmm. and what do we have here? I know we've got, we, we had this one last year. We did. And we have crushed quail eggs to make the owl. And Along with abalone and the eyes. Yeah, and that's fantastic because if you turn it, just rotate it just the right way, it you see it and it just, I don't know if you can see it, but it, really fantastic. You've got the gold dust on the clip. And this retails for $8,400. You turn it back, Brian, you can see the uh, artist's signature. Just a stunning, stunning piece. And if we take the... Look at that nib. Number 50 nib. Gorgeous. Anything else you want to say about this one, other than? Uh, it's my three daughters' favorite because they think it's <laughs> Harry Potter's Owl Hedwig. I was just gonna ask, does the owl have a name? <laughs> <laughs> That's gorgeous. And these, like all emperors, are eyedropper. Mm -hmm. And oh, someone asked, yes, this pen is for sale. Correct. Do we have the ink shot off? This is pretty tight. There we go. So it opens up. You really can't see that. You fill it up with an eyedropper. And it takes about a dropper and a half. And the nib goes back on. And tighten it up. And you leave it open just to crack a little, little air through. And then when you're finished writing, close it up. The line disappears. So traditional ink, ink shut off. Do we Japanese. have this on the Anderson Pens website? Uh, it will be. Uh, this will be available on the Anderson Pens website. Or you can call to. Or you can call. Definitely call the store. Or email at info at andersonpens.com. The barrel being ebonite makes it very uh, light, so it's very well weighted in a man or a woman's hand. I hope you can see that the eyes just are really... Get it in just the right light. Really a great piece. All right, let's move on to the next one. We've got quite a few of them here. And what do we have here? This is the Murasaki Shikabu? It is. She was a ancient Japanese poet. And the reason I like this pen is because of all the different combinations of colors and makie. Yeah, mostly you see a lot of makie. It's gold, brown, tan. That's right orange but we've got we've got green we've got even some blue in here which is fantastic mm -hmm. and the orange is very rare as well and salmon almost color um aziza from gourmet pen said i can imagine how much time it takes to create one of these do um, you have a most of the emperors take about four months to make uh there's be a, a, the next two that we're going to show you take the longest because they have the most coats of urushi lac lacquer on them and so again we're doing Maki and a clip here, and this this cap is fantastic. Look at that; it's just such a nice gradual. And then, really nice. Same nib on all these. Yes, number fifty nib. 
available in fine, medium, Two-tone. and broad. Yeah. With Mount Fuji highlighted. And how much is this one, did we say? That's uh, 7,000. 7,000. This one is... This is called the Kirin, another word for dragon. And again, with all of the um, uh, different colors. I guess the hat is right there. Yeah. And you can also see on the dragon's belly, the rodden or abalone. I love rodden. It's just such a great, great addition to any, any good Japanese pen. This is currently the most expensive emperor we have uh, in stock at uh, retailing for 10000 It's fantastic. It's really great, great work. And this is only, I mean, I think four months is actually a fairly reasonable time considering what, you're, what you've got here. Most of it is drying time. The artist mm -hmm. could be working on as many as 12 <coughs> to 20. Uh, and then once they start building the pattern and then coating it with Urushi lacquer and then just waiting for it to dry and keep the process going. Nice. This oh, particular nice. pen has about so 40 coats of lacquer on it. Four zero. Yes. Wow. What's typical dry time? Do you know? Um, several days. Several days. And if you if you run your finger around here, this is a raised mm -hmm. or a takamakie, and takamakie pens take the longest to dry because there's obviously uh, longest to make because there's more uh, layers of lacquer on. Add it. just a little bit. Let it dry. Add mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is this is fantastic, really, really nice. Now this next one, I, I don't I don't know why this isn't the most expensive because this is <laughs> this is just amazing. I think this is this is my favorite uh, outside of the owl. This is just look at this. That is amazing. This is another dragon that we came out with last year. In fact, it won Penrose Award for uh, best Yurushi pen. And we have a little bit of a it's platinum dust. Platinum dust here, and it's you know it's textured. Mm -hmm. Really fantastic. And all this rod in here, that's really great. Which makes it a one of a kind. Yep. That's nice. And this uses the same nib. Mm -hmm. Clipless. Yes, yeah, so I was asked today about the about the clips. A um, couple of pens that Brian has just showed you have clips on them. When the artists are doing one of these designs, sometimes there may not be room for a clip as they don't want to interrupt the story. Yeah, there's no room on here for. I bought some this summer. Those are great. All right. And what do we have here? This is the Kashimushi. This was a um, a limited edition we had out several years ago. Yukari. The Yukari Royale. Yep. Like the silver and the black one. Look at that. Is this the one where there's also on the section? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That yeah, is. We'll that. like a, a that's beautiful just surprise. Dragonflies. And this retails for seventy five hundred. I like this one a lot too. All right, I'm gonna. Um, and how much are these? And this. Oh, so that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like that. And nice little pop of color right on the pen. And it's nice how it lines up right with the clip there. Exactly. And we've got some rodden down on the bottom. And the, <clears throat> the white rodden here, if you just, you can see how yep. it glistens back and forth. And then we open it up and then there's, look at that. Oftentimes you get these and they have just a plain black section or maybe a little gold dust, but this is That's just right. really... Really nice, nice, nice touch. A little bit smaller nib, but this is not a small pen. No. Can you hold it up against one of the other ones for a size comparison? Now the Emperor is by far the largest pen on the market. Or if we want to compare, there's your vanishing point. Brian, you might want to show them the, the new custom Yurushi as far as the uh, the size goes. This is one of our newest pens called the custom Yurushi. 
much different size for us, and it's got a, a little number, bit number thirty nib. Yeah, a little bit smaller than than the Emperor, but it's a big, fat. It's hard to roll one on the paper here. <clears throat> and then there's the number thirty nib. Yeah, it's a beautiful nib. I love this pen. And it will also be offered in a vermilion color uh, late next year. That's exciting. Everybody loves a vermilion. All right, we have uh, another pen we want to show here real quick. Let's show or the two. two new additions to Anderson Pen to their inventory. Ooh, I love this one. This is the Milky Way. This phone does not give this pen justice. It is so sparkly. And this is in the Yukari series. And then its partner is the Shooting Star. Yeah, these these are just fantastic. When you, when you look at those up close, they're just amazing. Aziza agrees that I need both of these pens. <laughs> I don't sure. think my husband would agree with you. <laughs> Aziza, 1-800-ANDERSON-10. <laughs> and they've got, this is the Yukari size. You know, Mount, a two-tone Mount Fuji nib. Same size as the, uh, pretty much as the Nippon Art, right? Yes. So there's the Nippon Art for comparison. So a question we're all often asked is, in Machier, why is there a difference in price? So this is $750, this is $9,600. It's, it's all the uh, work that goes into it, the materials that go into it. This, believe it or not, is relatively easy for the artist to do. Whereas this is pretty time extensive and with all of the abalone, gold, and platinum dust. Gorgeous. Do you want to talk about the, the signatures a little bit, John? Okay. All the pens are signed. And when you see a single row, that means Kokakai or group. So I could do a little bit of this and then I could pass it on to, uh, to Brian. We could pass it on to Kim. We could give it to Lisa. Whereas... These with the two sets, that's the Machier Guild, and that's the artist's signature, and he or she's crest. And yes, we do have a woman as a Machier artist in Hiratska. So this is only done by one person, whereas this is done by a group. Oh, and someone asked, are you revealing the AP Santa winner? Uh, not right now on um, this live video, but that... Um, all the winners were added to the original AP Santa 2017 blog post. So you can go on there and see if your name is on there. Uh, most of them were contacted via email or are having their packages sent to them. And they were all shipped out today. They were all shipped out today, yes. So, so. if you are within the U.S., then you should be getting them in the next two days. Next couple of days, yep. So can I put this together? What else do we want to... There's lots of good pens here, so I don't know. Yeah, I'll show... Look at these. These are, the, these are the Shinkin pens, and this is not painted on. These designs are actually carved into the barrel and filled in with gold dust and lacquered over. So obviously it's a very precise art form. My if favorite. You, if you look at the, the cat, all of that was hand carved and then filled in with gold dust. And yes, I thought this particular cat was rather creepy to start with, <laughs> but it has grown on It grew me. on you? Yes, it does. As my, most cats do. <laughs> my, my wife and children have cats, and so I, um, I've grown to like it. And of course, it's Brian's favorite pen. You're leaving that one with us, right? Of course. <laughs> yes, of course I am. You'd be happy to send me the bill. I'll be happy to. <laughs> but look at all this gorgeousness. Oh, this Aziza said she's going to write to AP Santa and tell him she wants all of these pens for Christmas. They are all available here. <laughs> she's a, this is the Rock Garden, which is one of my favorites because I like Japanese rock gardens. This is very, this is very raised. I mean, this, yes. you can... That's all platinum with the gold swirls around it. And quite reasonably priced at 1400 yeah, And again, this bad. was made by a group with one row of signatures. And that's in the, the same the same family as this guy here too. The pine needles with the rodden on it. 
and then we have the herb garden to go along with that. Okay, thank you. So these three were introduced um, two years ago. But again, with the rod, everyone is going to be different. <laughs>